suppose it is our transformer this transformer's data is um, it converts 11 kV to 415 volt that is 0.415 kilovolt and 6 percentage impedance 2.5 MVA power 2.5 MVA means 2500 kV okay and this transformer is getting power from the substation from the government substation and after it converts to 415 volts directly goes to the control panel in this tutorial i'm going to calculate the short circuit current and fault level at the secondary of this transformer and also at the this panel this transformer's primary data is on the primary side per unit impedance equal to 0 0.00796 per unit impedance and it is short circuit current that is 6.4 kiloamps and fault level is equal to 314 mb see this tutorial is actually the continuation of the previous video if you did not see that video yet i'll give the link on the i button and also on the description box of this video so you first need to see that video then only you will understand this video at first we are going to calculate at the secondary side of this transformer the short circuit current and the fault level for that we need to consider the primary to secondary side okay and here the short circuit current equation is equal to IB by per unit impedance. IB means it is the base current. Base current is equal to base KVA by KV into root 3. It's equation. And the fault level equation is base KVA by per unit impedance. And here we are assuming 2.5 MVA as our base KVA. In the previous video also, we just assumed this same 2.5 MVA. We need to assume the same base KVA everywhere on our calculation. Otherwise, our calculation will be wrong. And here, the kilovolt is at the secondary side. It is 0.415 kilovolt. Okay. And here, for to calculate this short circuit current and fault level, one missing factor is this per unit impedance. So, we need to find this per unit impedance for our calculation. Here, the per unit impedance equation is per unit impedance at primary plus per unit impedance at secondary. See, in the previous video, uh, we already have done the calculation of this uh, per unit impedance there we already got it as per unit impedance at primary as 0 0.00796 per unit so we need to just put that one over here see if you don't have this per unit impedance at the primary and if you have only this uh, short circuit or fault level anyone then you can easily find this per unit impedance because this ISC's equation is actually the IB by per unit impedance okay so if you have this ISC and IB then you can calculate this per unit impedance okay with this equation and also the fault level equation is base kva by per unit impedance this one if you have this fault level and the base kva base kva we already assumed then you can easily find out this per unit impedance but here we already have this data so we don't need to do that calculation we directly put this value over here so here our per unit impedance at primary side is 0 0.00796 per unit okay here's value and the per unit impedance at the secondary side we need to calculate from the percentage impedance of the transformer the percentage impedance of transformer is six percentage first need to find the new percentage impedance okay the equation is base kva by rated kva into old per unit impedance that is base kva we already assumed it as 2.5 mva divided by rated kva rated kva means transformer writing that is also 2.5 mva that is 2.5 divided by 2.5 into old percentage impedance that, that is six percentage so the answer is 6 percentage so we need to convert it to the per unit impedance it is 6 percentage is uh, percentage impedance for to convert it to per unit impedance we need to convert it on the decimal form that means 6 percentage means 6 by 100 so the answer is 0 0.06 per unit impedance so the total per unit impedance we need to uh, put everything on this equation main equation so the answer is 0 0.00796 this value plus this value 0 0.06 per unit so the answer is 0 0.06796 per unit impedance it is the total one in our short circuit current the isc will become isc is equal to ib by per unit impedance equation first we need to find the ib base current the base current equation is base kva by kv into root 3 that is base kv is 2500 by kv is 0.415 into root 3 the answer is 3478.12 amps then our short circuit current isc will become I is equal to IB by per unit impedance that is this 3478.12 by uh, this total per unit impedance that is 0 0.06796 so the answer is 51.18 kiloamps 
Fault level is equal to base KVA by per unit impedance. The base KVA is 2.5 MVA or 2500 KVA. Whatever here we take, no problem. So here 2.5 MVA by total per unit impedance, that is this value. So the answer is 36.8 MVA. It is the fault level at the secondary side of this transformer. And you can notice one thing here. See, in our previous video, when we calculate at the primary side, the ISC was 16.4 kilo amps. But here, the short circuit current is 51.19 kilo amps. It is increased. Why it is increased? See, the equation of the short circuit current is IB by per unit impedance. Here actually the per unit impedance is increased. But at the same time, the voltage at this secondary side has been decreased. And due to the decrease of this voltage, the IB base current increased. See in the previous video at the primary side, the IB was only 131.2. But here the IB base current is 3478. It is too much. That means even though the per unit impedance increased on the secondary, the voltage is decreased. That means the base current thereby increased too much. Due to that, the short circuit current at the secondary side increased. And when we compare about the fault level, here at the secondary side, the fault level is 36.8 MVA. But on the primary side, it was actually 314 MVA. That means here the fault level decreased. See, here the fault level equation is base KVA by per unit impedance. The base KVA is same to 2.5 MVA, no change. But here the per unit impedance increased on the secondary. Whenever the per unit impedance increases, the fault level decreases. And here I want to give you a tip. That is whenever our transformer is step down transformer, you know always at the step down transformer at the secondary side the voltage is less. And due to that its short circuit current ISC will be more always. Okay. And always at the step up transformer the voltage is high on the secondary side. And due to that the short circuit current is less. Okay. But when we talk about the fault level at the transformer, you know, whatever the transformer, the secondary side, the fault level will be decreases due to the increase of the per unit impedance. And now we are going to calculate the short circuit current and fault level at the LV panel. That means over here, you know, the equations are short circuit current IS equal to IB by per unit impedance. The same equation as before. The fault level is equal to base KVA by per unit impedance. And here the IB equal to base KVA by KV into root 3. See here the IB has no change because you know the base KVA is same that is 2.5 MVA and KV is 0.415 no change. So the IB has no change. So we need to find this per unit impedance. Then we will get the current and fault level. That means the total per unit impedance equal to per unit impedance at transformer is secondary. That means the previous per unit impedance. That means what we find at the secondary of this transformer. That is the total per unit impedance that we calculated at the secondary side, this value. Okay. Plus per unit impedance at the LV panel. For that, we need cable data. And here you know the cable data is 13 runs 3.5 core 400 mm square aluminum conductor. Okay. See here one cable contains three phases and half neutral. Okay. Like that 13 runs. That means 13 cables are here. And here the cable is 1 kV rated and it is 50 meter. 50 meter means from this secondary transformer to this panel it is 50 meter. Okay. And the resistance is 0.123 ohm per kilometer and the reactance is 0.0618 ohm per kilometer for this cable. So the equation the per unit impedance at LV panel is Z into impedance into base KVA by 1000 into KV square. So first we need to find this Z that means the impedance of the cable the equation is root of r square plus x square so here the total resistance for this one the equation is equal to length of cable into resistance of cable by number of runs the length is 50 meter okay 50 meter means 0 0.05 kilometer why we convert it into kilometer because the resistance is 0.123 ohm per kilometer so everything in the equation should be on the same standard divided by number of runs that is 13 runs so the answer is 0 0.0005 ohms Okay, then total reactance, the same equation, here only the change, that is length of cable into reactance of cable divided by number of friends, that is 0 0.05, same length into 0 0.0618, that is the reactance of the cable, and divided by number of friends, that is 13, the answer is 0 0.002 ohms, so the answer impedance equal to this one, equal to uh, root of 0 0.0005 square plus this one, so the answer is 
z equal to 0 0.0005 ohms. Now we need to find the periodic impedance at the LV panel. That is this equation. So I submitted everything on this equation. That means z into base kV by 1000 into kV square. That is z means this value into our base kV 2500 kV by 1000 into kV square. That is 0.415 square. So the answer is 0 0.0073 per unit. It is at the LV panel. That means the total per unit impedance. That is this one. Okay. That means the previous per unit impedance at the secondary side. That is 0 0.0679 6. 6 plus 0 0.0073. This one. So the total per unit impedance is 0 0.0752. Now we are going to calculate the short circuit current. That means the equation is IB by per unit impedance. The IB has no change. Divided by per unit impedance. That is this total. That means 0 0.0752. So the answer is 46.3 kilo amps short circuit current at the LV panel. Next at the fourth level. That is base kVA by per unit impedance. Base kVA is 2.5 MVA by total per unit impedance. This one. So the answer is 33.2 MVA. See here both of this short circuit current and the fourth level has been decreased when compared to the secondary of the transformer. See on the secondary of the transformer the our short circuit current was 51.19 but here it is only 46.3 it is decreased and also the fourth level at the uh, secondary was 36.8 MVA. See here it is 33.2 MVA. See it is all because of the increase of this per unit impedance due to the cable. These are all the breakers. Okay, if we connect any other sub manual to this breaker, then you could notice that uh, the short circuit current and fault level at this sub panel will decrease us, you know, due to the impedance of this cable. If you got any deep information from this video and if you see this video on Facebook, please like my page and follow me. Okay, and if you see it on the YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon because it will be a great motivation for me. Thanks for watching.